Good to have Mark on the program today. By the way, if you're just joining us this morning and uh, you need an update, Mark is a former Cabell Midland basketball star, went on, of course, to star at Marshall University, went on to play professional basketball in Germany, where he also fell in love with Wiener Schnitzel. He also was unable to tell us the uh, name of the song that he danced to with that spectacular wedding DJ, J.B. Miller, three years ago at his wedding. But luckily, his wife has texted him, thanks to modern technology, and we now understand the song was amazed by Lone Star. That's right. You should thank your wife for that. Yes, I, I definitely yeah. Now, something we have not uh, brought to your attention is if you have seen, and we know you have, the movie We Are Marshall, then you should be familiar with Mark Patton, uh, who appeared in that movie. Uh, in fact, did a darn good job in that movie, and I'm surprised you haven't had more offers. I mean, well, I mean, when Freddie loves, uh, you know, when these horror <laughs> flicks and things come out, nobody called? No, no, I'm still waiting on the call. So. Is that right? Now, interesting enough, when uh, when the movie We Are Marshall, which you, of course, spent quite a bit of time filming, uh, came out in theaters, you were unable to see it. That's right. Uh, I was over in Germany playing uh, ball over there. so With the baskets? Uh, with the Pattermore baskets, and uh, I was unable to see it in the theaters. It didn't come out over there, so... Mom and Dad, I'm assuming, went opening night. Right? Oh, yeah, the whole family went. And, they yeah. made a, and then they yeah. all called you on the phone and said, oh, you did a wonderful job, right? Yep, they so, did. So you were in this movie. You were excited to see this movie, but you never had the opportunity to see no. it in the in the actual theater, right? Yeah, never never saw it in the theater. I mean, how, so. Now, how did that come about? Take, take me take me back um, to where we are, Mark. I guess uh, the, uh, I forget, was the producer and the director, uh, McGee, uh, they came to uh, to a uh, basketball game and uh just seeing the martial atmosphere and everything, the fans. So, and they saw me playing. And they knew that there was a part in the movie uh, that they recruit a basketball player to play on the football team. So, um, after uh, after the basketball season, after all the NCAA regulations would be cleared and everything, they they approached me and asked me if I wanted to do it. And and I figured it would just be a little small part, and you know maybe a line here, if that. And um, um, it ended up being a bigger part than I thought. Yeah. I had had to yeah. travel down to Atlanta and. Um, it's been almost a month and I'm a half. I'm assuming you had to become a SAG member. Yep, right? yep. Yeah, so so you, have your, you have your papers. Yep. So yep. you really could do another movie if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah. You're, you're a, you're a card-carrying member of SAG. I'm official, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and and what does a job like that, by the way, pay? Am I allowed to ask that, or is that um, a secret? It, it, it's a good job to have, your first job out of let me, let, 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 me say, let me say this. There's all kinds of rumors as to how much money Mark Patton got for doing that movie. So yeah. is it still is it still a, a secret? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll keep it a secret and <laughs> let, let those let those numbers keep going up. Yeah, so. exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's okay. You didn't have to answer that question, but but I I have heard over the years. Oh you know, yeah. Oh my goodness, they gave that they yeah. gave that boy this and they gave that boy that. But whatever it was, you did a terrific job and congratulations <laughs> because obviously this was you were a newlywed that you were just getting your feet planted and that this was a great way to get uh, to to get things moving in your life, right? Definitely. You know, uh, couldn't ask for a better. First yeah. job and, out of school, and you got <laughs> and you got to uh, meet a lot of uh, a lot of uh, famous people. Yeah, yeah, met McConaughey, Matt Fox, and you know Kate Mara, all those, all those people. And it was you know the chance of a lifetime. And I'm just I was I would have done it for free, honestly. And, so. and uh, how many? You, you say you remember some of your lines. Give me give me one of your lines from the movie. Um, a lot of it was ad lib, but um, um, in the scene at the basketball court, uh, McConaughey comes up to me, uh, Coach Lingle, and um. He asked me if I've ever played football before, and I, I say, no, sir, coach. And, and that's, they were short lines. They were easy to do. They didn't want to put too much on me, so I didn't yeah. have to butcher yeah. the movie. Yeah. Again, <laughs> you did a great job. And how many copies of We Are Marshall do you presently own? Whew, that's a good question. Um, I'd say at least six. People <laughs> people would send me copies all the time. I so, know. I, know, I, so know. I, I had to buy a copy myself, and then I bought a Blu-ray copy. So. Jim's uh, Spaghetti House uh, about a year ago had a uh, an auction for a charity, and uh, they asked me to, of course, donate, of which I did. And the prize that you would win would be memorabilia from the We Are Marshall movie. And uh, I won an autographed copy of the movie, of which I already own three copies of, so I now have four. And I also, part of that package was your basketball jersey that you wore in the movie We Are Marshall. And I was wondering if it was authentic, because I'm thinking of anybody that should have that jersey, it should be you. Yeah. Uh, and, and you do not own that jersey, am I right? No, I don't. No, they were pretty strict on what they let us keep. Um I was able to sneak out of there with uh, my football jersey. So, And I feel really, really bad, but I'm building a house right now in uh, Boyd County, Kentucky, and all of my um, all of my possessions are currently packed in a storage building. But uh, I, I feel that that belongs to you, 
and I would like to give you, as soon as I get my stuff out of storage, I would like to give you your basketball jersey that uh, from the movie We Are Marshall. Uh, thank you very much, yeah. ABS. So I will, uh, I, I, I will <laughs> keep your telephone number, and as soon as we have moved, I hope in March, and I get everything out of storage, I want you to have the jersey that uh, supposedly you wore in the, uh, in the movie. You know, and you could personally autograph that. <laughs> I could. For yourself. <laughs> there you go. I How might cool do that. that be? I, I, I think that would be, and i tell you what you could do. You could hang it up in your kid's room. Yeah. How about go. that? That's, That's a little memorabilia smart. for you. There Mark you Patton is here from uh, the days of the Marshall Thundering Herd, the days of We Are Marshall, the days of Cabell Midland. We've got more.